It's late April 2019 and I'm revisiting the graphs on the three different rootstock species and you know I hope everyone recognizes that learning about virtually every component of successful dragon fruit growing takes a long time, a lot of experimentation. Water, fertilizer, grafting, rootstock, variety, many things, trellis. So here we have uh, the American Beauty grafted onto physical graffiti. So the American Beauty being pure Guatemalensis and physical graffiti being 50% Guatemalensis and 50% Hylocerus. And you know what I see is that there tends to be some resilience to cold more than the um, the the American Beauty on its own stock, and I see a little bit of plumpness in the stem that is absent uh, in the uh, in in the in the varieties on their own stock. These are all. American Beauty on their own stock here. Um, but it's subtle. So I couldn't say for absolute certainty that that's occurring. Here we have American Beauty grafted to the Costa Ricensis. This is the Lisa variety. And what you can observe relative to the um, physical graffiti graft is that this American Beauty is not quite as plump. Uh, and marginally more chlorotic. Again, only one graft it's somewhat subtle. Now I'm going to come back and refer to the graft union and this graft form at the end, but let me go now to one more. Before I move on, let me just show damage to Costa Ricensis this past winter. This is all uh, this is all secondary infection from the from the cold damage and now just the decay and you can see it it's this is the ooze the bacterial ooze that we'll see 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 that now it's not like endemic or anything because <laughs> there's the plants but it's present in all of the uh, plants in this little section. I think there's eight or so uh, To some degree or another now y You'll find later that we do get cropping and somewhat uh, like improved performance as the warmer weather comes in All right here we have the third um, Graft in this little experimental plot, and it's the um, American Beauty on the giant Vietnam, which is Hylocerus undatus. And the graft union appears to be similar in all three now. Uh, this um, shoot here appears to be even more damaged than the um, the species. That, see, this is American Beauty, Guatemalensis, 
Uh, it, they're all chlorotic. Goes to winter chlorosis. But this one uh, had some tip burn. Not that I don't get tip burn. Um, let's see if I can find some here. Well, I don't see any like right here, but um, but again, it's just one graft. This is why this takes so long to learn. Okay, I'm going to pause it, think about the next comment, and then get back. Okay, so what I've decided to do is um, do what I do best, and that's just ramble. So this is a mushroom compost pile that I am composting for a second time. In other words, I received the mushroom compost and then I compost that. I turn it, I moisten it, uh, and then I use that pretty much exclusively as mulch and or in combination with soil that um, we use in the greenhouse plants. So I'm just walking into one of the greenhouses and you can see again April we're gearing up for another year of um, you know five plus thousand plants to put in the field and um, it's always a lot of work we have this part of the operation down pretty well um, but let's go back to the grass a little bit so you have to think back because I'm just walking around now um, the The graft union is just not the right graft union. No one could um, grow anything commercially with that performance on e any of the three. So I'd advise you to take a look at uh, Donovan Vasta's method. I think that one has uh, about the best potential that I've seen um, and but that's for another time the the, 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 the the idea for me is does grafting accomplish anything and there's some indications that you're getting influence from the graft union how to it, how to make that influence a, uh, an improvement in performance is the question and it's going to take from from my from my perspective it's, it's going to take much more time and energy and experimentation and so i think i'll just leave that up to you to ask me. I, I, for some reason, I don't get the questions in my email, so, because I don't use the Gmail account for Google, but, um, but ask them and I'll, I'll, I'll come back to you. I, 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 I try to answer every single comment.